Awesome, my dudes. This video right here is going to really shock some of you guys that think that I'm just a MX Bikes hater boy and all I can ever talk about is how MX Simulator is so much better. There's not even a question about it. It's not even like up for debate. It's not even really an argument. MX Bikes' terrain deformation system is just better and more realistic than MX Simulator's terrain deformation system. Period. The whole thing is, with MX Bikes' terrain deformation system, is it has a little thing called cushion to the dirt. Okay? A little bit of that cush, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> RF MX Simulator? Uh... Yeah, MX Simulator has never had cushion feeling to the dirt, and it never will have it, okay? That's been the whole entire problem with the erode system on MX Simulator. RF can't seem to understand that. The erode fanboy goofballs on MX Simulator can't seem to understand that. But there is no cushion feeling to the dirt. The most important part to a terrain deformation system, MX Simulator just doesn't have it. It's non-existent in that game. It's like you're developing raw terrain with no sort of softness or cushiony sort of feeling where you can basically go in and out of the deformation. That's what's so good about MX Bikes' terrain deformation is you can kind of cross rut and go in and out of ruts and it doesn't feel super weird. It doesn't feel super janky. Y you know, you can kind of interweave between ruts and you can cross over ruts in a way where it's not so like brutal and abrupt. It feels way more natural and realistic. MX Simulator's road system has never been realistic, and it's never going to be realistic, okay? It's just never been that way. It creates one giant singular zero cushion rut in every corner, and it doesn't even really make proper deformation in a straight line either. Doesn't make proper deformation in the whoops, MX Bikes is completely different than that. A good way of explaining MX Bikes' deformation is it's kind of like you mixed MX vs. ATV Reflex's deformation with MX Simulator's deformation. That's the way I would sort of describe MX Bikes' deformation. It's kind of like you mixed both of those things together, which is very interesting because I think there's a lot of things with MX Bikes that is that same sort of vibe where it's like you you have that perfect mixture between reflex and mx simulator i feel that way about the physics i feel that way about the inertia i feel that way about the movement and i also feel that way about the terrain deformation system it's the same exact way you know reflex is by far still the best terrain deformation in any motocross game out there because it has that proper cushion feeling to it. It can create that, that sort of, you know, hardcore deformation, hardcore, ruddy, gnarly ash track without it becoming super janky, without it becoming, you know, degenerated, triangled, weird-ass feeling to it. That's the whole point. That's sort of your spectrum right there. It's like... Reflex is the most cushion, the less janky that you can possibly have. MX Bikes is in the middle where it's, you know, more cushiony than MX Simulator, less janky than MX Simulator, but not necessarily as good as Reflex. You see what I'm saying? Whereas MX Simulator is all the way on the other side of the spectrum where it's super janky, zero cushion, just bizarre ass, not realistic at all. That's what MX Simulator is, deformation wise. Um, and I'll be the first one to admit that. This is one of those examples of some of you guys think I've, I'm not capable of talking about the negatives on sim and I only hate on bikes and 
No, that's not true, bro. It's not true, bro. So this is just another one of those things. But bikes really has that ability where it'll start creating kickers like on jump faces and stuff. But it's like it's almost like it it develops it in a way where you actually have time to react to it. You actually have time to realistically like understand where those kickers are getting developed and be able to adjust on the bike to, you know, change the way you're hitting that jump face or whatever. MX Simulator is more like one lap, you don't have a kicker. In the very next lap, it's the most gnarly, janked out, fucking bullshit ass kicker that you're going to do a 360 no scope backflip on before you can say Bob's your uncle. And then that's what happens. That's the difference there. When there's no cushion to it, you get all these weird janked out, you know, sections, janked out kickers that don't make any fucking sense. You just, it, it just develops so many more not realistic, weird issues on the track when you have an, a road system like MX Simulator versus the terrain deformation system on bikes. And also with bikes, you can actually see the deformation. It's for some reason, it creates like a, like you, you dig down underneath the top layer of decal and you sort of, you sort of start getting into that like, I don't know, you, you can actually see it though. Like it digs down and creates a bit of a darker sort of area on the decal where it's creating that deformation and it's not a problem to see where it's at at all. MX Simulator has struggled with that from day one. You can't see it. Where the fuck is it? You know, it's because MX Simulator was never meant to have a terrain deformation system. It's a game engine from 2007. They're trying to force cram shove this weird ass janked out wannabe terrain deformation system from a game engine from 2007 and they're trying to make you think that it's some better thing for the game. They're trying to make you think it's some decent deformation system. No, it's not. MX Simulator has the worst terrain deformation system of any dirt bike game out there, period. I don't even really consider the Milestone games having a deformation system. <laughs> That's pretty much just a visual trickery you know, uh, you know, kind of scam. Um, looks like there's deformation. There's not really deformation, you know, but even with like MXGP3 where there is a little bit, it's still more cushiony than MX Simulator. It's still more realistic than MX Simulators. So that's really all there is to that. Um, you know, they've been messing with trying to make the trying to make the ruts more realistic in the whoops on MX Simulator with the erode system. They cannot figure that out either. It's been an absolute shit show in that game. The worst thing that has ever happened to MX Simulator is the wannabe erode system. And to all of you goofballs that keep acting like, Spence, you just don't like it because you suck at it. You just don't like erode. You don't like terrain deformation? What? You think MX Sim shouldn't have terrain deformation? Um, no. It shouldn't have that terrain deformation. It shouldn't have the worst terrain deformation in any motocross game. That's what a lot of y'all boys can't seem to understand. Because then when we get to a game like MX Bikes, I'm all for it. It's great in this game. It's you know, bearable. It's like you can ride laps on a track without feeling like you're just developing this super unrealistic, janked out bullshit. It's actually rideable on bikes. It somewhat feels realistic on bikes. It makes ruts in a straight line, you know, uh, RF or road fanboy goofballs, you know, ruts in a straight line, ruts on a jump base, you know, those things. Uh, kickers that are actually normal, you know, those things. Um, where multiple ruts go in and out of each other and they actually feel normal when you're going through that. Doesn't just feel like a, a, <laughs> a, a janked out, degenerated triangle minefield, okay? 
that's the thing about bikes is deformation is it's uh you know when you have people going in a bunch of different lines on the track it has a really good ability of making it where you can still go through that without it just feeling like a shit show. You know, Sim has never been able to figure that out. When you have people going in multiple lines, it ju- it don't know what to create at that point. It's trying to make this rut, it's trying to make that rut, then they go into each other, then they're even more degenerated. It- it's just a mess on Sim, and it cracks me up how them boys try to defend it so much Like, bro, you do understand you're defending the worst terrain deformation in any motocross game in the history of motocross game. Just making sure y'all are road boys on sim understand what you're defending. Because that's exactly what it is. And I don't know how much more proof you can get than bikes being the way that it is and having the cushion that it has. And then games like Reflex having the cushion that it has and the type of deformation that it has can you not feel those differences i mean hello but anyways um yeah i apologize for cutting so much in this video as far as the gameplay i was trying to show different like varying levels of the deformation just to give you a bit of an idea but it's it's all a feeling thing i mean that's that's really what it is like if you took somebody that didn't really understand these games, they hadn't really played a lot of both of Sim and MX bikes, and you just showed them gameplay of the deformation between both games, it's like, you know, a lot of people may not necessarily understand what's going on. But see, cushion and softness and being able to go in and out of the ruts realistically all of that is a feeling thing it's like you've got to play the game to actually feel that cushiony feeling okay and that's the most important part to a terrain deformation system